Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I have to say brace yourself, because the Warhammer is for everyone controversy may have just started to escalate again, which is surprising given that it was just finally starting to die down. However, it seems now the mainstream news media has decided to get in on the subject, or at the very least that appears to be a very real possibility thanks to this new article from Vice titled The Culture Wars Have Reached Warhammer 40k, written by one Polly Doyle. Now for those of you who are curious, the article actually makes the argument that Warhammer 40k as a universe has managed to attract a small but vocal and influential portion of alt-right trolls, and claims that part of the reason for this is the lore within Warhammer 40k itself, even going so far as to describe the Imperium of Man as a quote, bloated theocratic ethnostate. Now as anyone with even a passing familiarity with Warhammer 40k knows, while the Imperium can be described as bloated and as a theocracy, it is in no way an ethnostate. In fact, compared to the real world world 21st century, one could even make the argument that the Imperium of Men would stack up as being the most diverse and inclusive nation on that list, as it not only includes people of all currently recognized races, but the Imperium also of course features abhumans such as ogrins and ratlings, which the real world simply does not. The only exception to this rule is of course on the topic of religion, as the Imperium of course adheres to the principle that the Emperor is holy above all else. But that is why one could merely argue that the Imperium is the most inclusive and diverse in comparison to real world countries, and not an undeniable conclusion. But either way, the main thrust of my argument here is that to suggest that the Imperium of Man is in any way an ethnostate is simply and demonstrably incorrect. And as stated in previous videos, it is also incorrect to suggest that the Imperium of Man is fascist either. So as you could probably tell by now, Mr. Doily isn't exactly an expert when it comes to the lore of Warhammer 40k. However, and to his credit, he did at least reach out to multiple people to appear to try to present a better picture, including individuals from both sides of the argument, such as No More Damsels on one side, as well as Arch on the other. Unfortunately, the left-wing favoring bias of Vice shows through here as well, though, as Arch is the only particular individual they went to who actually advocates for the position that Warhammer is for everyone full stop. And of course, he is the only one that they present anything critical against, which of course are the things that everyone that has been following this controversy has heard a thousand times by now, the Discord comments and the Noblar video, which is quite interesting given the fact that one of the other individuals they have spoken to is none other than Leaky Cheese, the individual who has repeatedly tried to get Arch deplatformed off of YouTube and has even filed privacy guideline complaints against both him and myself in an attempt to silence us. Speaking of Leaky Cheese, it should be noted that the comments that he made in this particular article are quite telling to say the very least. East. For example, he believes that this mythical fascist community within Warhammer will radicalize people through a quote PewDiePie pipeline towards extremist and far-right content. Of course, it's important to note that Leaky Cheese will refer to anyone as a fascist so long as they simply politically disagree with him, regardless of their true political leanings. Ironically, however, he seems to also believe that it is not presently made abundantly clear within the lore that the Imperium of Man quote aren't the good guys. Now to really illustrate just how bizarre and absurd this particular claim is, here is a cutscene of Battlefleet Gothic Armada that demonstrates one of the most infamous and well-known elements of the Imperium of Man, their notorious propensity to conduct an exterminatus. Some may question my right to destroy a world of 10 billion souls, but those who truly understand Realize that I have no right to let them live. No sacrifice is too great. No treachery too small. So yes, Leaky Cheese somehow seems to believe that this is not evidence enough that the Imperium of Man are not actually good guys. And as I've mentioned before, it is quite ironic that he seems to think that anyone that doesn't politically agree with him is a fascist, but at the same time, he doesn't see the destruction of entire worlds worth of people as an inherently and fundamentally villainous act, or at the very least, one that isn't obvious enough. And as I've already touched on, he also of course wants the lore of Warhammer 40k to be changed in order to suit his own political agenda. There is of course more to the article, such as the hot takes provided to us by 
Thomas Parrott. However, it turns out that he essentially makes the same arguments as Leaky Cheese. So there's not really a whole lot to add there either. So you now may be wondering, what are my thoughts? Well, unfortunately, I would have to say that we're going to have to keep an eye on the situation for quite a bit of time longer. Now, I do realize that everyone is starting to get a little tired of the Warhammer is for everyone controversy. However, with the mainstream news media starting to take notice, it may be more necessary now than ever to pay attention. As I've already said, it is extremely likely that this will escalate. So I will of course endeavor to continue to keep an eye on this should any more news come. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. Oh.